Hello everybody, uh, this is a little video series of my 1952 TD20 of replacing the head gasket and a few of the other gaskets in the engine. So far with this little project I have drained the radiator, as you can see the hose there is off, draining into a bucket, and I have compression tested it and the results of the compression test are 55 psi for cylinder 1, 60 for cylinder 2, 40 for cylinder 3 and 60 for cylinder 4. That should be 100 psi on each of them. So as you can see the compression is very low on this tractor. And there is a small leak on the side of the block there between the head. So this little video will be me, I will drain the fuel system, take the tap off, clean all of this out in here, put it up on the bench, and hopefully take the fuel tank off. So that'll be one of the first jobs, because as you see on most of these Massey and Ferguson tractors, you have to take the fuel tank off to get to the motor of the engine, because that's all running under here. I've also drained and flushed out the oil, although there's a little bit of oil now in it when I did the compression test, because I drained it before I did the compression test. So I put a bit of fresh back in it. I've also taken off this air hose for the carburetor. So it runs up to the air cleaner. That's over there on the bench. So yeah. Yeah. I've got the cardboard to lay everything out, and this is the gasket set. Copper head gasket. You know, manifold gasket, so those two there. Rocker cover gasket and carburetor and thermostat gaskets. I think I'd either need to repair or replace the exhaust pipe because there is a small hole coming here but I don't know how I'm going to get it off but that's I'll cross that bridge when I get to it yeah well it's here in the workshop at the moment I'll just get this sorted out I'll set the camera up and I'll take the start taking the fuel system apart all right to start with the uh, fuel system, we've got to take the glass bowl off here, make sure the fuel is off. There is some fuel in the petrol tank, so I need to drain it out through the bowl, as my as I did have a small little siphon pump, which was incredibly useful, and I'd recommend getting one, but it broke just before filming this. So if you can see that on the video, there's all loads of little specks of rust in the bottoms of this. So, that in times like this, yeah, it's usually for wearing gloves. So if you can, if the camera can see all that, to the rusty muck in the bottom of the fuel bowl. Well, this has come out of the fuel tank, so it's a steel fuel tank. But yeah, it's good to get that out of the fuel system. Let's wipe that around. That there cleaned out. I'm going to put that on the cardboard over here, ready for putting back on soon enough. And then, once I've done this, alright, now I've just drained all the petrol out of the little fuel tank. I've had, I've got maybe two, one and a half, two litres out of it. There's still a bit left in there. But when I take these bolts out, usually some fuel comes out. So as long as I get a rag under here to catch it, it's usually fine. It'd probably be easier to take the toolbox off, but I've done it a couple of times before with that, and it's easy enough. These spark plugs are only just in here, because when I did the compression test, I didn't think there was any point screwing them back in properly. I just did that to prevent a bit of moisture getting in there. And, yeah, didn't think it'd be a good idea to leave open cylinders. And like I said, there's a bit of oil left in here, with new oil, it's about a third full, should be right to leave in the engine. Yeah, the next couple of things to do, take this tap off, I'll do that, I'll do that off camera, and then we can take the tank off, take the vomit off, they're probably the two main things. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, I'll take the fuel tank off, and then I'll get right back. Right now, well that's just draining, I want you to have a look at these fuel bolts. I don't know how this thing ran properly, because if you look through there, you should be able to see through that. 
a tiny gap and that's completely bunged up with rust like there's a little gap but they should have like a gauze bit over the top like that see there's a very small amount of it left like, up like that but they should be all right to go back on like this as long as i clean them out it's a little bit of rust there just came off thing with these steel fuel tanks they rust quite badly it's been the same on both of our tractors but yeah i think that's nearly done draining so i'll go and have a look if you can see this now it's much better that's clear and that hole there is clear I'm trying to get the camera so there we go. you can see through it now before it was completely bunged up with rust but yeah that's one future problem solved that can go there on the cardboard you can see it's just there still dripping so I'll leave that to drip out completely and yeah and then I'll take the other bolt out right now I've just taken the other one of these off like the, the little tap ports up into the tank as you call them and the muck that's on this one there's like bits of stones bits of grit at least this one's still got the They've got the protective gauze on the top but yeah the muck that's down on here when i put it out it was like greeny sludge so look that hole's nearly completely filled up it's absolutely it's ridiculous what this thing's it's, i'm still going to do the head gasket but this was probably part of the reason that it wasn't running very well it's because both the all lines were nearly blocked up completely but yeah, just need to take on the tap. I just need to take the little pipe off the back, and then that'll be ready. And I can take the tank off in a minute. That'd be good. But yeah, that that that's not good. I'll blow through that with the airline. Right, well I just cleaned it up now. See there, as you can see through it again, and it's rather clean compared to what it was. If you see what the washer was like, uh, if it'll focus on the washer. Well, you get the idea. It's absolutely covered in grit and grime. There we are. And all muck on it. No copper washer. But yeah, this. This is good. This one's clean. So that'll be another thing to help the tractor run better. Alright, now I'm taking the fuel tap, tap, tap off. I found to get the uh, pipe off the back, which is 11 sixteenths. And then the little brass fitting is it's a lot easier if you leave one of these bolts in and then you can use that as leverage to be able to undo it because sometimes on this one it was rather tight to try and get off just undo that yeah and then that's the fuel pipe loosened off under these you would normally use a socket on, a, on most bolts but it's rather difficult to get up in here can't really fit a socket like, again, up against the housing. It's rather difficult. So you just do it with a Ferguson spanner. That's what I do. Yeah, and there we go. And that is the fuel tap. Don't know if that can be seen. Yeah, the fuel tap here. It's got a lot of gunge on the back, so I'll have to soak that in with degreaser or diesel or something just to try and scrape it all off. But there's loads of muck on it. Well, this was all taken off not too long ago the tank was cleaned so that was maybe well eight years ago something like that but something that this one's missing that the other tractors we've got have is a little nut on the back of here which locks it otherwise when you're turning it to turn from fuel to fuel it gets it slowly loosens itself, and we've had it before, where it just leaks so much out of the tap. So, well that fuel line's got a fair bit of rusty, rusty muck in there, but it seems alright. So now, we'll be on the tap. Well, I'll just give you a close-up here on the tap. This was cleaned, I brass owed it up a bit when we took it to the bath on my show. But, see on the back, it's quite mucky. But yeah. I had to take these off a couple of times to clean them when they get bl blocked up. But yeah, I'm going to take the tank off. Now I've just started taking the bolts off for the fuel tank. 
because this is something I can do while I haven't got any help, but to lift the bonnet off, I really need some help. To... I'm just starting to take these off. This is really just for my own reference. So I know where this thermostat, no, not thermostat, uh, temperature gauge thing runs. From through here, there's a little thing that clamps onto the bolt. The bolt's here. It seems excessively difficult to take, to undo. It seems it's been off in the last 10 years. But I suppose thinking about it, that's quite a long time. And then there's the other one in there. One of them on this tractor are missing, which is uh, that one over there. And then there's one here to come off. You see this hose is quite badly uh, or perished, I suppose you'd say. So I've got a set of new hoses over there for it. So all right, I'll get back to work and I'll, I'll probably come back when the bonnet is off and I'm ready to take the fuel tank off. Okay, now we've just got the fuel tank off. That's there, it's sawdusty underneath, but it's all right. Bonnet there is off, and the tractor here is just ready to, for me to start assembling the radiator and the cooling system, the thermostat housing off and things like that. So that would be all like the front of the tractor stripped, and I'll be ready to take the rocker cover and the manifold and things like that off. All right, but that should do it for this video, just for what I've done so far before I start boring anybody out of their minds with my... Well, attempted rebuild. Let's hope this will work. Good there. If you need any help with doing something like this, if you're doing one yourself, I'm going off of all of Bundy Bear's shed, uh, Lance, Mascarel, Mascarel's videos on YouTube. They're really brilliant for doing stuff like this. I should be able to link it in the description bit in the video. So that's what I'm going off of. So if you're doing a rebuild like this, it, they're incredibly useful, the videos. Well, okay, that should do it for this video. Okay, thank you very much for watching. There should be a part two soon, and that'll be of me, like I said, taking the radiator and all of that off. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye.